Hey guys, Silent CL here. Welcome back to the Ultimate Cross Gacha video. So before we begin, I'd like to remind you guys that I've already uploaded um, the update video for the month of February. So if you guys have not checked out what is coming um, throughout the whole month of February, please go check out that video and of course um, watch through the whole thing if possible. And of course, let's talk about what is going on with Ultimate Cross in the month of February. Well, as you can see from the banners that's flashing by and of course the event tab that's currently on the top portion of the screen Yes, we are at the first event of February that features Basara and the brand new song for Macross 7 series uh, under the Ultra Macross lineup that is um, It's Parade! So yes, Basara fans have finally gotten their wish to have a second 7 star episode played of their wonderful husband though so yes, let's go dive into the gacha page um, to talk about the brand new episode plate for Basara. Is it any good or is it actually uh, meh? <laughs> so, but before we go dive into that page, as usual, let me just remind you guys that you know, whenever a brand new month starts, there's always to be discounted singing stone packs. So if you guys want to rare up um, your you know your singing stone amounts. To prepare for the two seven star gachas that are coming for the month of February. February, yes, you heard me right. If you guys have already watched the video, like I mentioned, um, for the update of February, there is two episode plates that are seven stars that's coming for the month of February. And yes, you need a buttload of singing stones to get ready, uh, especially if you want to do well for the events of February. Because you know, whenever there's two episode plates of seven stars. Uh, it's usually a big loss in percentage bonus of points when it comes to this factor because if you can't even get one of them at least, you're gonna be struggling throughout the month of February just to, you know, maintain um, top rank positions or at least a decent rank position and of course earning points to unlock all the wonderful resources. So before I do this, I'm gonna go ahead and um, purchase the 10,000 sing, uh, 10,000 yen singing stone pack because usually that's the best um, amount to invest in. The rest of the singing stone packs are well basically there to fish out your remaining amount of money in your wallets. Um, they are not exactly essential to purchase, but of course if you can afford to, you can purchase all of the discounted singing stone packs uh, at a very great price. But the best price is still the 10,000 yen pack giving you the best amount of singing stones and the best amount of seasonal spheres um, you know for the the, the the bank of your buck that basically it. okay so I'm gonna go ahead and purchase them then we'll dive back in into the gacha page like I said all right now that I've purchased my 10,000 yen uh, singing stone pack let's take a look at Basara's episode plate to see whether it's actually any better than uh, the recent releases of episode plates that are seven stars because it seems like you know the newer ones are starting to overpower the first release versions of seven star episode plates. So yes, let's take a look at Basara's episode plate stats. Four thousand three hundred and one. Hmm. <laughs> okay. So that total score is kind of disappointing. <laughs> I mean. And the illustration for Basara is, well, technically, I, I guess it's okay, but you know, it's it's not the best illustration for Basara. I still think his previous 7 star uh, episode plate has a nicer looking illustration. And of course, the costume involved for Basara this time around is his iconic singlet, um, which we all come to know uh, as his uh, off day outfit. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know if this is actually the best costume design for an episode plate of 7 star rarity because this feels like a ripoff. <laughs> and you know 4301 total score, it's not the best stats on the 7 star episode plate as well. I mean, yeah, looking at it, it's pretty well balanced out except that it focuses a bit more on song. Uh, I mean, so. Uh, even though it's a yellow series episode plate and of course it's voice version stats are pretty decent as well just losing in soul by seven points so what i think about the stats just alone i think it's uh, really not worth the money 
Uh, I mean, the costume points alone is really not worth the money as well, considering that it's a seven-star episode plate and it's just a, a singlet and a pair of jeans with a tight cloth around his and um, his knee. Come on, come on, Dana! You can you can produce better seven stars for Basara. <laughs> All right, so center skill as always. I mean, if you use it on a Macross seven song, you get the double S ranking skill. Um, that boosts 60% of your unit's total um, stats for star C um, songs. So, yeah. So, if you use this episode put it on a star series um, Macross 7 song, you definitely had a boost in percentage for your score. Alright, so moving along. Um, active skill, as usual, if you power it up to a 7 star rarity, you get to use this skill twice. And for 15 seconds, your score is boosted by 100% up. Active skill, um, B rank. Ha! <laughs> okay, so score up for 50 for 50 combos. Um, when you reach the 50 combo mark, for 10 seconds, you get a boost of 20% up in score. So yeah, usually we don't really use um, 7 star episode plates for life skill purposes because their life skills aren't exactly fantastic but the stats on the 7 star are definitely the highest out there but you know comparing 7 star life skills to a 6 star life skill I still think it's better to go with a 6 star especially considering that most of us don't have a 7 star episode plate with a Kira effect well basically that's known as a plus 5 luck value and of course um, you know, it's easier to get a plus 5 luck value on a 6 star episode plate as compared to a, a 7 star episode plate. Um, so yeah. Anyways, let's move on to the last page. Will this be the first episode plate of its kind that has a special note attached to it? And of course, not. <laughs> so yes, Dana is still holding back on us um, for 7 star episode plates uh, to release their full potential. I guess it's not time, it's still too early, it's, well, uh, it's roughly been a year or so um, since the 7 star introduction, so I guess they're still holding back because maybe they're trying not to push the game too quickly um, to maybe introduce an 8 star episode play in the future. I mean, cons let's be honest, if they do introduce the special note on the 7 star episode play, it means that the 8 star episode play is not that far away or maybe some kind of a higher upgrade of a 7 star. Oh well. So, yeah guys, let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think of Basara's episode play? Is it worth the money? Uh, personally, for myself, I think it is definitely not worth the money, um, considering it is a 7 star episode plate with not very useful stats on it and it comes with a really cheap looking costume. <laughs> so yeah, I'm sorry Basara fans, but you know, the, your, your husband though is not getting the right treatment. Um, yeah, definitely not. But you know, like I said in my February update video, um, for Kaname fans, I think it's better for you guys to store your scene stones up to your waifu's gacha. I have a feeling that Kaname's episode plate is definitely going to overpower Basara's. Um, you know, just just the costume alone is definitely <laughs> overpowering Basara. <laughs> I mean, you know, comparing Basara's um, muscular chest uh, revealed by the singlet, compared to Kaname's underboob, I still have no idea if I can say underboob on YouTube, but yeah, the, the, the costume alone over Kaname takes the cake. Yeah, of course, I think Kaname's episode plate stats are definitely going to be a lot better than Basara's as well. So yeah, anyway guys, I'm, I'm going to still do the discounted singing stone pool for Basara's episode plate. I mean, it will be good to attain his 6 star episode plate form just for the costume and of course for the event purposes as well um don't want to end up struggling too much and of course you know having another six star added to my so far growing seven star collection <laughs> is definitely going to help as well so yeah guys all right so um there's quite a bit to pull this episode i'm gonna do the single free pool that's given every time a brand new gacha is there and of course i have uh, super dimension tickets um, 
for the pool as well. So yeah, that too. All right, so okay, let's do this. So let's see how the luck fares for today with the free single pool. You know, if if the Valkyrie animations for this one is pretty decent, I think we can expect something good out of today's episode. There we go. So one one plane. Pretty decent Valkyrie animation, so I guess we can expect pretty decent luck considering that the last two videos have been pretty horrible in luck. So we do get a red episode played, so that's that's a pretty good sign for decent luck this time round. So that's okay. Alright, not too bad. So let's go ahead and do the template pool. So I'm definitely going to save up my rest of my singing stones for Kaname's episode played at least. Um, so yeah, although, you know, we do need, um, better episode plates, um, for Basara. <laughs> we definitely need to improve his collection of episode plates, because right now, my Basara selection is horrible. Uh, I realized that, you know, just by playing the Diva Improvement events, Basara doesn't have a lot of fantastic, um, episode plates among the, you know, series elements. Alright, so here we go. I didn't really notice the loading bar, but okay, we've got ooh, we've got five Valkyrie animations. Okay, two red boxes on the first blade. And a rainbow box, so there is some hope um that you know the rainbow box does evolve to its higher form. Okay, that okay, so the rainbow box doesn't evolve and we get a very old episode plate of Reyna. Oh no, what in the world? <laughs> okay, so there goes the gacha. I mean, we do get a 5 star episode plate, so technically it's not a flop, but you know, considering how old that plate is, <laughs> I think it's kind of a flop. <laughs> it's, it's almost no difference to not even getting a 5 star episode plate. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's okay considering that it does give me costume points to maybe unlock an episode off, so that's fantastic. Is this new? I don't recall seeing this last station before. Oh, it's new! Oh! It's new, but what costume points does it lead to? Huh. I'm curious. Oh, okay. So it's for Cheryl's um, Basara costume. Alright, so... Do I really want to pull another one? Uh, okay. So let's try the Super Dimension Gacha first before I decide, you know, to toss in another 500 Singing Stones on Basara's Gacha. Um, you know, considering the luck has been kind of mediocre, so let's try and flush out the bad luck now by using this Gacha. So, okay, a decent quick load right there. There we go. One... So yeah, you can tell to the oh golden orb. Okay, that's not a good sign. If I plan to pull Basara's gacha later on, so we do get a rainbow box at the second bling. So oh god, there we go. All the common episode plates. That we probably won't need unless they do have points for costumes that are about to release an episode of, so, okay. Oh, lots of green love today, so we get Reyna and now we get Ranka. I think this one is fully evolved for me. Oh, now it is fully evolved. <laughs> okay, so I can appreciate this pool. Although, although both gacha pools only led to us um, to a single 5 star each gacha pool, so. Oh, I even unlocked the costume. Wow, okay, so I'm pretty happy. You know, a new costume, a new fully evolved 5 star episode plate. Uh, I'm good, I'm good. Uh, even though I did not get Basara's episode plate, I think today's overall results is pretty decent for myself, at least. So yeah, okay, so now that we've kind of um, flushed a bit of the bad luck away, kind of, I mean, we did technically get 5 star episode plate, so it's technically supposed to be good. But it's not fantastic results, so here we go. One last try for Basara before I surrender and of course end the episode here. Let's hope for the best. 
of course, I'm going to keep the rest of the singing stones for Kaname and, you know, the rest of the month, hopefully to get you know, the rest of the wonderful, ooh, ooh, a decent slow load speed, so, hmm, yeah, like I said, uh, for the, the rest of the excitable new costumes for the rest of the month of February, yep. Okay, here we go. Five Valkyrie animations, so a bit hopeful, I guess. One red box on the first bling, and a rainbow box on the second, so pretty decent luck still going on. Okay. Nice. Freya. Oh, oh. No lag, though. Oh, no. Okay, what's with... What's a Cheryl and Basara? I mean, it is a Basara gacha, but, you know, it's Cheryl Gnome wearing Basara's costume, so... Oh, God. Well, so all three pools have pulled out five-star episode plates, but... Uh, all pretty mediocre pools, considerably. Um, so no luck for Basara, I guess. It's another episode plate of Basara that I do not have, so that makes... Two out of two Basara plates that I do not own. Uh, that's just horrible. No luck with Basara at all. Alright. Okay, I'm fine. You know, I mean, I do get 5 star episode plates, so I I can't be too fussy about it. Anyway guys, that's it for today. Uh, as usual, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the episode plate for Basara. Is it worth your money? Are you going to spend money on it? Uh, are you going to, you know, um, save up for Kaname's gacha? Uh, how did you do for your own Basara's discounted plate pool if that's the only pool that you're going to do? And of course, uh, if you guys are brand new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. But the, I, guys, I'm still very sleepy from last night's video. I slept at 4.30am after uploading that video. So it really does help it help out a lot if you guys watch through all the videos that I've produced. Um, of course, leave a like to this video if you enjoyed hearing myself fumble and my sleepy self trying to make sense of everything else. And yeah guys, I'll see you guys in the next Uta Macross Gacha video for Kaname's wonderful lustrous illustrated 7 stars. So play until then. Bye!